Hi everyone, I'm Kylie. Welcome back. I'm going to, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do a very basic polka dot repeat swatch in Adobe Illustrator. You can see how I've set one up already, so I'm just going to replicate this on the right hand side. So go to your artboard, see that little icon there, new artboard, make. You could label that if you wanted. Uh, polka dot demo. Alright. So I'll just get rid of that for a sec. So I'll just zoom out. This is your artboard tool here on the toolbar. If you just, I just want to uh, reposition that over there, just so I move it away a little bit from um, that other spot. And the first thing I want to do, so you've got a little artboard here. It's 50 mils by 50 mils. If you're unsure of what your artboard size is, you can click on the artboard tool and you can look over there. Um, your artboard. I'll just, um, I'll just do that. your artboard properties are 50 mils by 50 mils. You could actually make that 100 by 100 if you wanted. Um, if you wanted to make a larger um, print repeat, and but for today for the spot, I just want to keep it at 50 mils by 50 mils. So first thing I want to do is create the base color. So you've got your artboard. Now we're going to create the first. Um, layer of the print so it's going to be a little uh, base fabric so whatever color you choose um, make it make the width and height 50 by 50 because that's the width and height the measurement dimensions of your artboard so sorry I just want to color that in uh, like a really neutral color where, where is that I'm just gonna get my eyedropper and eyedropper that one so I'm just gonna position that on there so I'll show you if you've got your smart guides on right smart guides you can just position that you can see and snapping into that artboard you can see up there that pink intersect uh, word there and, and, the, and the pink lines that means that it's been placed it's kind of snapped into the artboard so it's exactly on the top which is what I want because you have to be precise when you're setting up these things Secondly, I want to create a transparent mask that sits at the back of this square here. So Command C or Control C and Command or Control B. Command C is copy and Command B is copy to the back, B for back. And I want you to make that no fill. So if I just show you, your top layer is the your top layer is the the cream square, and your bottom layer is the transparent square, and that is what you want. I'll show you in a minute after we set up the, the spot. I'll show you afterwards what um, happens if you don't uh, put the if you don't put the transparent backing mask because inevitably you will forget it and you'll be wondering why what went wrong, and I will show you. All we need to do now is create these uh, spots on each corner. One, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Okay, there's a few different ways you could do this. I'm going to show you a way using your keyboard preferences. So remember your square is 50 by 50 mils. So if you go to your preferences, uh, preferences can be found in, on a PC in edit, I think. And you go set it up to, yeah, 25 mils is what you want. Why 25 mils? Because 25 mils is half of 50 mils. And I'll show you in a sec why I want to do half of 50 mils. So go to your lips tool, choose a color. I'm going to choose this lovely pinky red. And oh, I didn't do it. Did it? There you go. You can see now my fill um, is the pinky red. So just draw, drag your circle out, hold down shift to constrain it into a perfect circle. If you don't do that, it goes elliptical. So constrain your um, ellipse into a circle and just position it. You want the center of the circle to fit, snap into the corner of this uh, square. So you can see here, if I hover over it, you can see those two little centers have intersected. That is exactly what you want. So again, I'm going to do Control C copy and Control F copy to the front. And if I use my right arrow, I tap once, it taps to a measurement of 25 mils. And I tap down another 25 mils. And that puts it 
smack bang in the center of your square. Okay, select the left hand one again, Control C, Control F, and then tap twice, 25 and 25 is 50. Control C, Control F, tap, oh, didn't do it. Control C, Control F, tap 25, tap 50. Control C, Control F, and tap twice, and there you have it. Four corners plus a center. Okay, so grab your swatch, open your swatches, Go to your selection tool, mark it over the lot, and drag it in there. Now, if you can see, that is what you want. You want it to look like that in there, a little swatch. What I'm going to do is show you uh, what it looks like if you haven't put the transparent mask. I just deleted it off, and I'm going to drag it in without the transparent square on the back. And you can see already, if you've got uh, good eyes maybe, have a look, squint, and can you see it looks slightly different from that. So let me show you. I'll just draw a really big rectangle and I will uh, put in your normal beautiful. That's what you want, that's what your spot looks like. So I'll just do that. Oh, no I won't. All right, I'll just leave that. And I will copy this rectangle over and I will fill it with the other one, the incorrect one. It looks like that. You might think, oh, but that looks really cool. But it's actually not. Well, it is cool, but it's not correct. So you want it to look like this. I'll show you why, what the difference is. Why, uh, so I'm actually going to show you now what the... Here I go, delete that off. I'll show you what the transparent mask does. So just to show you, I'm going to control C, control F. I'm going to bring that to the front. Actually, I'm going to just group those together for a sec. I'm going to place this back over the top and I'm going to clipping mask it off just to show you what a repeat print looks like. So essentially, what you're trying to do when you create a repeat print is this. I'll just drag this over. Okay, if I copy that up to the top, you're trying to... This square here could be, should be copied to the top, the left, the right, the bottom, and the left. And repeating and so on, repeating in this way. And you should get a perfect repeat. So, I'll just snap it there. And I will copy that one over there, and I will copy this one down there, and I will copy this one down there, and I will copy this one over there, and I can copy this one here, and I can copy this one there, and this one there. And you can see that, oh, I haven't copied those to exactly the right, let's just have a look, let me snap it into place, there you go. That is a perfect repeat. So that is essentially what you are doing. This square is just copied multiple, multiple, multiple times um, and it always creates a seamless repeat. So what happened when you, and so what essentially that transparent, um, the transparent box does on the back. Can you see what I did then? I actually, I'll show you, I'll just make it yellow. Okay, so what it does is it acts like a mask. It acts like a mask and what it does is it is placed behind actually like this. But what it does is it actually, it masks off or creates like a boundary and it masks off all those outside bits, the bits that stick outside of the square. So everything that sits outside of the square is going to be masked away, hidden, and everything that um, is inside the square is going to be kept. And then Illustrator repeats that clipped off little square. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll just show you quickly, because uh, you're going to do it. You're going to make this mistake. Uh, everyone does it. So. If you don't create that mask, 
and define the boundary as being around the edges of the square, it thinks the boundary is around the edges of the outside, the very outer, it follows the whole um, uh, pattern, including all of the circles. So what it will do, it will actually do this. It will repeat it to the outside there, like so. And as you can see, um, that's exactly what that pattern repeat looks like over there on the, um, that was the one that um, I filled. So as you can see, it's actually just um, repeating to the outside of there as opposed to us creating a boundary around the outside um, of the, uh, you know, cream square. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Good luck. Join me next time. I'm going to make a repeat print, a floral repeat print. Bye.